In 2020, Poland's central bank reported a profit of 9.3 billion Polish zlotys or 2.05 billion euro. Uh, 1 billion 960 million euro will land in the state budget, said Adam Glapiński, head of the National Bank of Poland. The profit is about 500 million euro higher than in 2019. Billions of funds from Polish budget went to companies struggling with economic effects of the COVID-19 pandemic since it began in the spring of 2020. Half of all companies in Poland, 370,000 enterprises benefited from the financial shield from the Polish Development Fund, reported Paweł Boris, head of the PFR. He pointed out that during the second and third waves of the pandemic, aid was directed to companies in specific sectors that may secure jobs for about three and half million people. International Monetary Fund has reported on the Polish general government deficit. This year it shall jump to 4.7%, but in 2022 will fall below the 3% threshold recommended by the EU by reaching 2.6%. In its fiscal monitor, the IMF said Poland's gross debt will reach 57.4% in 2021 and 56.1% in 2022, all due to the multi-billion public aid programs to support the economy strained by the coronavirus pandemic. A Polish government program to assist Belarusian IT specialists in relocating to Poland has seen 790 uh, Belarusians obtaining visas. Business Harbor Program, a government-backed assistance program for Belarusians aiming to relocate to Poland, has already brought tangible results, said the authors. IT specialists and their families, as well as owners and employees of companies, are eligible to a special accelerated immigration track, which is directed to startups from Belarus who receive special funding and companies of all sizes uh, that are provided with a range of dedicated services required to ensure their smooth transition to the Polish business ecosystem. Even Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki is involved, writing f on Facebook that Poland is becoming a safe haven for engineers, programmers, startups and IT companies from Belarus, especially active during protests and exposed to repression. Nikolai Oreshkin, a Belarusian venture capitalist, described the exodus as a paradox. Intelligent people in IT with a good income from abroad who replenish the treasury were forced to leave the country, he told. Adding, the most successful people turned out to be the most proactive and defended the rights of the oppressed and, for this, they get hit on the head with truncheons and are forced to leave in fear or leave the country.